Halcro is providing technical expertise to the biggest project in Korea, the Busan Goja Fixed Link. The project was designed by a consortium led by Daewoo Engineering and Construction. Their project managing director, Mr. Ku, tells us more. The project is a project in the world, and the project is a big project in the world. In the world, the project is a big project in the world, and the project is a big the Busan Goja Fixed Link project is an ambitious scheme to reduce journey times between Korea's south coast city of Busan and the island of Goja, a tourist hotspot and home to some of the country's biggest shipbuilding yards. At present, the 140 km journey takes three and a half hours. The alternative is a two hour ferry ride. On completion in 2010, the link will slash journey times to just 40 minutes. It will open up the region to a wealth of previously untapped business and tourism opportunities. The impressive 8.2 km long link is made up of a 3.4 km long immersed tunnel in water up to 40 meters deep. A two pylon cable stayed bridge, a triple pylon cable stayed bridge, roads and rock tunnels on the islands and approach roads. The two cable-stayed bridges are the first consecutive cable-stayed bridges in Korea and employ advanced design techniques and the latest construction technology, such as the floating deck system, a design solution to build a more economic and stable structure. The bridge caissons were fabricated at a pre-casting yard and transported to the site after the seabed had been excavated. up to 40 meters below sea level to avoid the busy sea lanes above the immersed tunnel is being built with 18 pre-cast concrete elements each element is a huge structure of 45,000 to 50,000 tons and will incorporate two lanes of traffic in each direction and a central services escape tunnel they are built four at a time in the pre-casting yard which is also a dry dock when they are ready the ends of the elements are sealed with temporary bulkheads and the dock is filled with seawater. The floating elements are then towed and anchored in a mooring area where they are prepared for transportation to the tunnel site. They are transported to the site by tugboats and then lowered exactly onto a trench on the seabed foundation. They are connected to the previous element and then finished by backfilling. Mr. Lim is Daewoo's pre-casting yard general manager, responsible for making the entire scheme's vast array of concrete structures. The Duracrete approach was used, a design method for securing a concrete mix that provides both strength and durability. Mr. Lim sheds light on the key challenges. Uh, my main challenge was uh, to complete this project within scheduled time with the best quality of the concrete. Uh, it was very difficult to control the concrete quality because it was duracrete concrete. It was the first time in Korea to induce the duracrete, but we succeeded to get the good quality of concrete. Halcro's Don Fraser has more on the company's role in the project. Halcro have been here employed by Daewoo Engineering and Construction since the start of the project, initially working with Daewoo in their office in, in Seoul and then coming down uh, to Busan uh, to support them as uh, technical advisors and also to support them in contractual uh, specification and design issues. My particular role has been to support them on structural works on both the immersed tunnel, the bridge uh, substructure I'm coming now into the, the bridge superstructure. The Busan Goja Fixed Link project is one of the largest of its kind under construction in the world and further establishes Halcro at the forefront of international bridge development. It has enabled Halcro to capitalize on its considerable experience in this area, gained on projects such as the Orisund Link between Denmark and Sweden, which also included a cable stayed bridge and immersed tube tunnel.